Both teams started this match on winning rolls and Hearts were first to threaten a goal. John Cahoon hitting the post. Pascal Bruno was also getting in on the act. Great skills from him, but the shot over the bar. Steve Fulton had claims for a penalty after 25 minutes. The referee said no. Four minutes to go before half-time and Hearts took the lead. Lovely skills by John Robertson and a great finish. Hearts a goal ahead and well-deserved on the balance of play. Andy Walker replaced Andy Tom at half-time and four minutes into the half he had a great chance to equalise. Walker still not fully warmed up but his best saved for later. 14 minutes from the end, a free kick for Celtic on the left. Tosh McKinley floated the ball in and Pierre van Hoydonk flying in to take advantage of Rousset missing the cross. Celtic right back in the game now, but Tommy Burns refusing to let his side settle for a draw. Seven minutes left and this time van Hoydonk turned creator. The ball chested down to Walker and he controlled it before shooting past Rousset to send the Celtic fans behind the goal into orbit. Walker's third in two games against Hearts, all at the same end. 2-1 for Celtic at full time and confidence flowing through the ranks as the gap closes to two points. Uh, it was eight at one stage and uh, we've got a very big game on Saturday against Kilmarnock and um, hopefully Hearts will put as much effort into Saturday's game against Rangers as they did tonight and it'll be a tough game for Rangers on Saturday. To, to be fair to Andy, I mean, he's, he's been out of the team this year due to the fact that uh, Tom and Van Hoydonk have done so very well. But any time we've called on him this year, he's done well for us. Most of the time he's, he's spent on the bench. But he's very Celtic-minded, Andy. His family are all Celtic-orientated as well. So he's a Celtic fanatic. I don't think he deserves the stick he gets. You know, sometimes he makes mistakes like every other player, but he seems to get a wee bit heavier from the, the, the crowd than most others. But the one thing about him is he, he's very much a die-hard and he wants to go and he wants to do well for Celtic. And the, the, the finish tonight 